for the love of Tyler's birdcage. What is going on down here? What? Is Raven here? Who? Raven? Do you know what the date is? It's 422. It's two days past your favorite date here. I what are you guys doing? April? I missed it. There we got 30 inches of snow. The Raven show was canceled. Is this still out there? 30 where's inches. Fr where's Frank? Where is he? Oh my god, sweet Mary, mother of Joseph. Oh. You guys are pushing him on a cart like he's King Tut. And he's eating. Freddy, what are you doing? I thought it was a bathroom. I'm hungry. Who's going to set up the chairs? Who's doing production? What time is it? It's time for you to get your keister out of here. Okay. All right. Just give me a minute. Get him out of here. Somebody take King Tut out of here. Go put him back in his tomb. I'm leaving. You guys are disgraces. Both of you. What? Folks. Don't touch that dial. It's time for PPW High Voltage. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to PPW High Voltage. Paul Bow, alongside Phil Bravado, E. Julius Kuiper. Guys, it's great to be back here in the friendly confines of Holy Family Academy. After missing a month, we got 30 inches of snow back on March. I believe it was around the 18th we had to cancel our show. I love you guys. It's so great to be back. Can I touch you? No. Okay. Anyway, tonight in our main event... Kakoa, the Hawaiian warrior, is putting his first defense, and the first defense is always the toughest, against none other than Mr. Goodluck, Sam Adams. Well, it's going to be his only defense, and I'm going to tell you this. I talked to Sam Adams earlier today. He's very confident, as he should be, and it's going to end tonight for Kakoa. Sam Adams, he's just letting Kakoa borrow the title. That's what he told me. I have no reason to believe that Sam Adams is lying to us. I'll tell you what, Kakoa... He fought long and hard to get to where he is, to get that title. Years and years in the making. He's not going to give it up easy. I don't care who you are. Absolutely. Tonight, will Kakoa's title, title reign be on borrowed time, or will Sam Adams take back the prize, what is rightfully his? We'll see you on High Voltage. Don't change that dial.
PPW fans, welcome here to PPW High Voltage. Paul Bow alongside Philip J. Bravado and Julius Kuiper. Opening contest of the night, Mick Drake taking on Ike Phillips. We talked about Ike Phillips in the pre-show. Former NCAA football player, former kickboxer. He was going to knock your head off, Bravado. Relax, fans. He used to play for the Browns. There's nothing to get excited about over here. He was a coach for the Browns. Worse. You can't even teach him how to win. Both these men in phenomenal shape. Look at Mick Drake. He looks like a Spartan. Absolutely. Big side takeover by Ike Phillips. Grinded it in there, trying to keep the big man off his feet at 6'3", 243 pounds. Mick Drake is chiseled from granite. Ike Phillips keeping him at bay, though, with some basic... Greco-Roman maneuvers here, side headlock firmly in place. Uh -huh, look what the cat drug in in the entranceway. Here comes Teletubby Ryan Race. Hey, here comes Talent. I can't believe he fit through the entranceway. All right, easy. Fans who took advantage of the of the Facebook Live from PPW, you would hear Paul Bo try to get both of these guys under my skin. Listen. Both of these guys are great. They're both debuting here tonight. Mick is going to show Ike how to work. Ryan Race is over there taking notes. This is the same guy that was backstage trying to put M&Ms in alphabetical order. I mean, seriously. You have a problem when he comes out here and interferes. He's not interfering now, and you still have a problem with him. All right, here we go. Let's get back to That's the action here. Is that his grocery list, or is he taking notes over there? Big forearm chop by Mick Drake right into the solar plexus area of Ike Phillips. European uppercut. He'll be checking his chicklets on that one, EJ. Definitely. Ike Phillips sent hard into the corner. Mike, Mick Drake eats an elbow. Phillips goes for the axe handle smash, hits it right on target. That's one way to cut a big man down to size. Does Ike Phillips have a, uh, a Facebook like on the on the side of his leg? What is that? He says, I like Ike. Look at this. Belly to belly over the head with a release beautifully done with the kip up from Mick Drake. Tell you what, Mick Drake chiseled here and telling the crowds to calm down here. If you checked on the PPW website, fans, Mick Drake had had a lot to say about this match, about Ike Phillips. He's showing it right now, EJ. What do you got, your grocery list in your hand? Would you leave Ryan out of this? He's sitting there like a professional, trying to maintain business. Here you are, trying to interfere. Does Paul Bo ever like anything, EJ? I don't know. One count only, Ike Phillips quick to kick out there. Phillips just stock is down on the ground. Mick Drake stalking him. Big elbow right across the back. Mick Drake relentless right on the... Ike Phillips. Unbelievable here. What an impressive athlete. I'll tell you what, and every time Phillips tries to push himself off the ground, Mick Drake just keeps pouncing back on him. And now with those cobra-like arms, those bull constrictor-like biceps, sucking the air right out of Ike Phillips. Definitely, he's wearing Ike Phillips down little by little. That's the name of this game, folks. That is the goal of professional wrestling. Listen, I talked to Ike Phillips before this, this match, guys. He was about ready to leave. I had to convince him to stay. He was ready to walk out of here. He found out that Mick Drake was here. He didn't think he was actually going to come. He, had, he tried to leave the building. Look at I this. I don't believe that for a what? second. Oh. Crucifix rolling from Ike Phillips. Only a two count. Phillips sent right back down to the mat with a huge clo clothesline from Mick Drake. Ryan Race, you gotta believe, looking with both with interest with both of these guys, as both of them new to the new to the locker room, not too many friends. Ryan Race is gonna try to capitalize on that early. That's the sign of a good businessman. Beautiful drop kick by Mick Drake. He's telling these people not to clap here in Hazleton. Mick Drake obviously not making any friends, and I really don't think he cares, Phil. He doesn't. I mean, plain, plain and simple, he doesn't. He's on his way bigger and better than Ike Phillips would ever dream of. This is just a little road bump. Look at that backbreaker. Holds on. Unbelievable the strength of, of Mick Drake. 
completely dominating Ike Phillips here. Tell you what, this guy is very impressive here. Phil, you have to be impressed with Mick Drake. I always was, Paul. Phil. Like I said, the agile, the speed, the, the quickness, the strength, all in one. And now look at him. He's making an aerial assault as well. Oh, and he took a little too too long up on that middle rope there. And now I bet he regrets it. And that could be the opening that Phillips looks. That's going to be the opening he looks for. Big shoulder tackle on the big man. Ike Phillips in high gear. Whoa, Full man. Steam ahead. Cleaned his clock. Phillips, reverse atomic drop. Off the ropes. Swinging that breaker. Beautifully done to perfection. I thought he had him right there. Kick out at two. You know, in this age of high spots and crazy maneuvers, it, it's refreshing to see some well-executed basic wrestling techniques. Crowd and Hazelton getting behind Ike Phillips. It's Went for the spinning kick. Caught by Drake. Oh, oh my God. Look at the air. Kick out again. I don't know how. He almost hit his head off the rafters. He was up so high in that German suplex. Well above the top rope and driven down onto the back of his neck like that. Folks, this, this man wants a victory more than anything here at PBW. But Mick Drake wants the same thing. Pure reaction by Ike Phillips to kick out of that move. As Drake goes for it again. Bit of a variation on a stunner there. Didn't, I don't know if he caught him clean. No. I'll tell you what, he didn't catch him clean there. He kind of slipped off him at the end. And I think that was just as much Mick Drake's fault as it was Ike Phillips' fault there. Drake kind of blocked it a little bit, EJ. It's getting down to the nitty gritty now. Things are going to start getting ugly at this point in the match. Both men are just about spent. They both want that victory badly. This is where... Well, you know, this is where it all comes crashing down. Ryan Race continuing to write notes over there in the corner. And seemingly it pe appears to be more when Ike Phillips is in control, but uh, that's just me. Oh, man! You can count to 100 here! Mick Drake makes a statement. The winner of this bout, the Tiger Mick Drake! What an impressive debut for Mick Drake here at PPW. PPW locker room better be on high alert. This 243 pound monster from New York, New York, I'll tell you what, has a bright future here in PPW. You know, Stanford, Connecticut better be on high alert because this guy's on the radar. An amazing debut here for Mick Drake.